While players like Janet Harris and Teresa Edwards put the Lady Bulldogs on the national map, it was a shy post player from Charleston, South Carolina, who provided a fistful of firsts. Katrina McLean joined an already talented roster in Athens in the fall of 1983 and immediately made an impact. Katrina McLean is a gift. You know, she was a gift to us. And she's a gift from God. McLean captured the first ever SEC Freshman of the Year Award in 1984 and then earned the league's inaugural SEC Player of the Year accolade in 1987. That same season, McLean became Georgia's first National Player of the Year honoree. And soon afterwards, McLean was recognized as the greatest power player in the world. Katrina McLean may have had the best pair of hands that God ever created. If you could throw it in the neighborhood, McLean could catch it. If somebody else threw it in the neighborhood, she'd go rebound it. She could block shots, she could run. Unbelievable shooter. I remember coming out of high school in Sports Illustrated, she was in faces in the crowd. And it said in there that she had shot the basketball 79% her senior year from the floor. She had shot 79%. And I remember thinking, well, you know, welcome to the SEC, baby. That's not going to happen. And at the end of her freshman year, she had shot at 68%. <laughs> McLean was a member of the U.S. Olympic teams in 1988, 92, and 96. It was at the 1996 Centennial Olympic Games in Atlanta where McLean's career came to a fitting climax. She was one of eight Olympians chosen to deliver the Olympic flag during the game's opening ceremony. She connected on an amazing 73.9% of her field goals en route to averaging 14.1 points for the gold medal winning American. McLean has been inducted into both the Georgia and the South Carolina Sports Halls of Fame and was the first Lady Bulldog inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. And without doubt, she belongs on the list of the greatest players in Georgia history. 